what's up everyone welcome back to my channel in case you're new here my name is phil so i have never been more excited with a dish like with this chicken and rice dish this is a saudi arabian cuisine it's known as chicken kabsa and it is so so good so comforting and perfectly enjoyed with the family this one you can top it with some nuts or some dried fruits but i topped mine with some sultanas and some fried onions i tell you it was so so good i also served it with this tomato chutney which i've showed you how to make it in another video which i've linked it at the end of this video so guys this recipe is super simple anyone can make this so without saying more let's get started quickly let's go through the ingredients that we will use for this recipe so here i have one full chicken i've really washed it nicely and then i've cut it into four pieces next you'll just take a knife and cut each piece small slit as you see the way i've done it here I also have some rice so for this recipe we are using basmati rice basmati rice works perfect with this dish so just make sure you've washed it nicely until the water runs clear and then we're just going to soak this for about 30 minutes before we cook it next year i have some dry spices so here i have some cloves some bay leaves some cinnamon sticks and i also have these dry limes so the dry limes is a very important ingredient for this dish because it gives it a very yummy umami and citrusy flavor you can always get these dry limes at any arabian store or if you can't find them you can as well make them at home you can just buy the green limes and soak it in water for about 30 minutes and then you just sun dry them for up to one week it's not a must to use them if you can't find them but i really recommend if you use them because it's a very key ingredient for this recipe we're also going to need some powder spices which i've also listed in the description box down below so don't forget to check on that you also need some nicely sliced onions some grated garlic and ginger some blended tomatoes some tomato paste and also we're going to need some butter so this recipe calls for ghee but since i don't have ghee i substituted with some butter so next we're just going to cook you will add some oil to your pot you will follow that with the butter you will melt that for about 30 seconds once that is done you're going to add the dry spices so guys i forgot to mention this before adding the dry limes to the pot make sure you've poked it with a sharp kitchen knife to create some holes so this will help the limes release out the citrusy flavor when it's being cooked you'll cook the dry spices for about one minute while turning and once that is done you will add the sliced onions you'll saute that for about 30 seconds next you will add the grated garlic and ginger you continue sauteing this for about a minute or until they are nicely browned So once the onions are done you will add the tomatoes and the tomato paste you're going to continue cooking this for about two to three minutes or until the tomatoes are done so guys remember i've listed all the ingredients for this recipe and their measurements in the description box down below so don't forget to check on that and if you're new to this channel i would love for you to join the family just subscribe to my youtube channel for more of my amazing recipes here is all about quick easy and yummy foods also remember you can find more of my amazing recipes on instagram at fields underscore kitchen or also on tiktok at fields underscore kitchen so once the tomatoes are done you will add the powder spices i've also added some salt you're going to turn this while cooking for about one minute next we will add the chicken to the pot so for my chicken i removed out the skin but you can just leave the skin on if you want so it'll just take a few minutes to mix everything together so make sure all the chicken is coated in that tomato mixture once that is done we are going to add some water so i'm just going ahead to add four cups of hot water and then i'll just go ahead and give it a quick mix the broth looks so yum and the aroma from this is so amazing i tell you the aroma will just be calling the neighbors it just smells so amazing so anyway guys you're just going to let this cook so you'll just take your lid and then you'll cover the pot you're going to let this cook for at least 
30 minutes so that is just to allow the chicken cook very well because you need the chicken very tender and cooked all through our 30 minutes is over and our chicken is ready so for the next step we're just going to remove the chicken pieces from the broth set them aside as we go to our next step So we are left with our broth here so we'll just give it a quick mix next you're going to add the rice so remember that the rice has been soaked for about 30 minutes we'll give that a quick mix so remember guys this broth has reduced to half of the size that was in the pot earlier because we were cooking the chicken that means it's not going to be enough to cook the rice so what i normally do is i will let the rice cook with this broth for about five minutes so i'll just cover my pot let it cook for about five minutes and once that liquid is done i will add one cup of hot water and i will let it cook further over low heat until the rice is done i'm going to show you everything so as you can see the broth has all evaporated and the rice is not yet done so what you'll do just give that a quick mix make sure everything is nicely mixed and then you're just going to add one cup of hot water you might add more if needed as well You will give that a quick mix and once you're done we are going to take a damp cloth so i normally wet a kitchen towel and then we're just going to place it on top of the pot you'll then add the lid on top of the damp towel and then we're just going to let this cook over low heat for about five to eight minutes or until the rice is fluffy and done as the rice is cooking let's prepare our chicken so this one is very quick so we're just going to add some oil to the pan and then we're just going to add the chicken pieces this is just to brown them both sides so slowly add the chicken pieces to the pan we'll just fry them both sides while turning until they're nicely golden brown so another alternative if you don't want to pan fry them you can as well bake them in the oven or also air fry them we just want them to have that crispy yummy texture on the outside and as you can see our chicken is ready and it looks so amazing so we'll just remove them from the pan set that aside and let's check our rice and our rice is ready this has been over low heat for about six minutes as you can see it's fluffy and let me tell you the aroma from this pot yo it is so so good so for our next thing we're just going to plate it so you will plate the rice and top it with the chicken pieces so normally this dish is served with some dried fruits or some dried nuts here i have dried sultanas and i'm also adding some fried onions that i prepared earlier and the dish is ready guys it looks so yummy this is best enjoyed with the family so remember when serving remove out the dry limes and the bay leaves and you can just enjoy this with some soup some sauce or you can have it with this homemade chutney that i've showed you how to make it in another video which i've linked at the end of this video and that's what we're making today guys thanks so much for watching i assure you this is going to be your favorite your family will also love it so make sure you try it as usual don't forget to tell me how yours came out on the comment section down below so till my next video bye